refuse to cry again. I refuse to be intimidated by my situation. I refuse to put the devil where he belongs in Jesus' name. So what? I'm not married. So what? I don't have children yet. So what? I don't have a job. I give thanks for it to him anyway because he knows. He knows the end from the beginning. It is my revelation that it did bring me this far to lead me to die. It is my revelation that God cannot bless me and then the devil curses me. It is my revelation that though I may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy Lord and thy staff, they comfort me. I have a revelation. After this weekend, in your career, in your businesses, in your families, in your ministry, when other careers are sitting down, yours will be standing up. I've spoken in women's services. Oh, my husband is a drunkard. He doesn't come home. I say, when he go, did he take the bed? Hit the bed, sleep. Start to look good and make him suspicious. Don't look depressed. Begin to dress like somebody's dating you. Tell him the moment you hit out of that door, somebody walked in. He said, I will never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I will be with you until the end. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Let me tell you, God is not our grandmother. God is not our parent. God is a God of honor. God is a God of dignity. God is a God of character. Whatever he says he will do, he will do. When life is against you, do good and treat yourself good. When nobody's taking you out, take yourself out. When nobody calls you baby or honey, say, Lord, you're my portion. We are talking about men and women that when others are standing up, you will be outstanding.